Hello and welcome. In this video, I will demonstrate another new enhancement in the cash and bank management area, which is redesigned of bank reconciliation report. So if you, if you see, this feature is available for 10 40 version. And this feature is dependent on the modern bank reconciliation feature. Let's see in the system how we can leverage this new one and what was the previous bank reconciliation report was available in D65 without enable this feature. So first what I will do, I will show you on the feature management. Uh, I will just type modern and this is the modern bank reconciliation feature which which brings a lot of changes in the cash and bank manager media including the matching rules interface changes in the bank reconciliation sheet and all so for this video i will just talk about the cash and bank management area on uh, uh, bank reconciliation report which is redesigned by microsoft so if you see this is now enabled what i will do i will just showcase how it is it looks like without this new feature so what i will do i will go to cash and bank management module i will go to bank reconciliation and here i will just say a reconcile report i will change the legal entity so that i can show you so it change the legal entity because i have posted and reconciled one bank statement that i will showcased I will show the comparison as well so say example this is the one which i want to print it and i want to show you that how it looks like without this enhancement. So now it is printing the reconciliation report in, on screen, right? So this is the reconciliation report, the existing one, how it looks like. So it brings last reconciliation, this reconciliation, and company unreconciled details, SIP statement and unre unreconciled details. I can export it for future because I want to show the I want to show the comparison how it looks like when we enable the new feature. So this is the old one. So now what I will do, I will go into C system administration, feature management. And from here, I will just enable the modern bank reconciliation feature, which is in preview state now. So I've enabled it. Okay. And now I will, and I will talk about the prerequisite before running this report the first thing you need to understand this back this uh, new bank reconciliation report is based on the electronic reporting so as of now what we have what we have seen it was it was just printing on the screen and it was a ssrs report but microsoft has invested and they have built this new report redesigned this new report on top of the electronic reporting so now this reconciliation report is part of the electronic reporting umbrella. So to do that, first thing we need to do, uh, we need to import the bank reconciliation report from the electronic reporting uh, uh, framework or the repository. So I have already done it. So I will show you. So after you, in, after you import that from the electronic reporting repository, what you need to do, you need to just go to the reconciliation and here in the default reconciliation default report configuration you need to select that bank reconciliation report format and this is available from the 1040 version you need to go to the electronic reporting configuration and then you need to enable it you can also synchronize and import it from here itself but i will not go in detail how to import the bank statement i mean how to import the report electronic reporting from the electronic reporting repository because that i think you already know or you can watch my previous video how you, how to import the report from the electronic reports in like reporting repository so once you have a once you have imported that report bank reconciliation report format you can just select it from the bank master so like i will just select it okay so now it is selected so it is basically you can select your own bank reconciliation. You can configure this. You can change this reconciliation format as per your requirement. You can have multi 
you know individual reconciliation format but microsoft has given only one reporting uh, reconciliation format which you can import it from the electronic reporting repository and then enable it attach it in the bank master okay and <clears throat> once done now we are ready to use this report so what i will do i will go to the same bank statement which i have printed without this new enhancement so now if i click on this spring reconciliation statement i have to follow another prerequisite because when when this modern bank reconciliation uh, you know feature is enabled as a prerequisite we need to upgrade our already or existing data which is available in system because that is a migration process because like i mentioned modern bank reconciliation uh, framework not only brings this report changes it brings a lot of changes we have you know we have conducted a session on it you can watch the previous videos from the community and all but uh, in short without the data upgrade from the legacy interface or legacy fields you you won't be able to you know print this report or in other cases as well you need to you have to do this activity so how to do that if you follow this error message you can do that on your own without you know without my help but i will also talk about and i will show how to do that so if you see the warning message it shows modern bank reconciliation feature is turned on please please run advanced bank reconciliation data upgrade under cash and bank management setup advanced bank reconciliation setup first before reconciliation or process matching rules so what it's saying basically it is asking us to upgrade our data because after enabling this feature new feature the data upgrade has to be recorded so it's basically uh, is available here if you come if you see my screen advanced bank reconciliation data upgrade so why we need it if you see the introduction the modern bank reconciliation feature provides advanced capabilities for bank reconciliation before starting any new bank reconciliation after turning on this feature it is necessary to run a data upgrade program to keep the legacy data compatible with the new feature the following data will be upgraded so these are the uh, you know areas where for this we need to upgrade the old data <laughs> okay so it is a mandatory setup if you get this error in any cases when once you enable the modern bank reconciliation feature you need to do this data upgrade so if i click on next uh, next it is basically showing the if any data is available or not if not it will bring us blank and now once done i will click on form date maybe i can select uh, from january the data will be upgraded okay and then i just click on next and once we click on next system will already simulate that for which entity and which bank this has to be completed so it is automatically you know understanding for this bank data upgrade is not required because we are not we have no unposted transaction unposted new transaction in the bank statement or we there is no new bank statement available in this bank and in this legal entity but for this bank in this legal entity we need to do that system understood that for this bank we have to complete the data upgrade so if i click on finish so so now it is basically in the batch queue okay let's go to bank reconciliation let's see whether the batch is completed or not because if not then it will tell us that you can't print it so now what i will do i will click on print reconciliation report so now if you see that 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 the data upgrade has been completed by the batch i can click on this pin unreconciled details only or i can make it blank okay i can follow the recon i mean batch processing as well so if i click on okay so now what i will do the change previously it was printing on your screen but now it is basically downloading on your local local file because it is part of electronic reporting okay so now if i go to electronic reporting so now what i will do i will click open both of them what was what was the past one <clears throat> okay and if i go to then this one so now if you will see the comparison and if you will see the improvement what microsoft has brought so this one is basically the new one new bank statement redesign report and if i go to the previous one it is the old one if you see there i mean these header options are almost similar 
but if you go down it is only bringing company unreconciled details statement unreconciled details and if i go to the new one almost this ending balance summary and everything is same but here if you see in detail level things are there like bank recon bank transaction type date document number document type payment reference amount cancel correction amount similarly we have uh, bank unreconciled details if you go down if you see you will see company reconciled details and bank reconciled details so company means the dc5 transactions and bank means it is a bank statement okay so now if i go back to the previous one you will see these details are not there it is only coming with company unreconciled details statement unreconciled details there is nothing more than that but in new one it is bringing company unreconciled details bank unreconciled details company reconciled details and bank reconciled details if you further deep dive if you'll see it is only uh, you know <clears throat> bringing the transaction type date reference amount and password sheet okay this is the available right now without this feature if, and if you go change this to one if you, you will see bank transaction code booking day document number reference number entry reference description amount is coming and the powerful thing is that i think you already know if not then just a short uh, you know knowledge sharing that this since it is the electronic reporting you can configure this report on your own if you want to change something if you want to bring other fields as well you can do that in this using the electronic reporting without any coding but for this one it is basically based on the SRS report so if you want to change something you need to do some coding in the uh, you know in the back end in x plus plus so that is basically the change what i have observed and i would say it is nice change which microsoft uh, you know invested on and most most powerful thing is that this new report is based on the electronic reporting framework that means we don't need the coding to change this report we can you know customize as per your as per our own on the electronic reporting framework so that's it for this video i hope you have liked it uh, and i'm sure this will be helpful in your uh, you know next assignments or existing assignment whenever is required always remember the prerequisite you need to enable the modern bank reconciliation you need to import the bank reconciliation format from the electronic reporting framework and then once done you need to attach that format into the bank master and after that you need to if you have not done the data upgrade uh, after enabling this modern bank reconciliation to the data upgrade then only this print reconciliation report will work and it will fetch the data it will export the you know report into your local file so that's it about this video i hope you liked it and that's it for this you know uh, for this presentation i hope you will be able to configure it and will and if any feedback you have just give me the feedback in youtube or in, in linkedin or whatsapp or whatever is preferable for you so yeah that's it for now bye for now